I like going to the gym, but when I go to hotel, the gyms are not always available when I'm on these trips. And what I did is that when the commercials came on TV, I started doing body weight exercises. I started doing uh, Spider-Man push-ups, mm. which was push-ups where you're kind of like crawling on the on the floor a little bit. Yeah. I was still watching TV, yeah. but I was able to incorporate it into my life so I didn't have to like, you know, take a whole big time out from my vacation time. Advent Fit is a podcast that has a holistic approach to physical, spiritual, and mental well-being. In each episode, we share productive ways to live a healthier and happier lifestyle. Unlike other podcasts in this space, Advent Fit gives you a comprehensive approach to fitness without the fluff for the everyday Christian. Today we're talking about calisthenics. What's up? Cali. Calisthenics. Calisthenics. Going back to Cali. Cali. Yeah. Calisthenics. You know, calisthenics is a is a movement that has get gotten so popular in the the last decade. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, in two thousand and between two thousand thirteen and two thousand and fourteen, uh, it calisthenics in terms of people doing it more than doubled. I wonder why that is. Wow. Well, I don't know. Maybe people didn't know what calisthenics were. <laughs> maybe. And, and now they knew what it was, so they started reporting in the statistics. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But. But for whatever reason, uh, it just doubled in, in size. What server was that too? Like, <laughs> do you do calisthenics? Yes, no, maybe. Hmm, yes. Uh, well, how how would you define uh, calisthenics? Uh, strength training with only your body movements, not your body movements, but with only your body. One group calls it as a, a type of workout that uses a person's body weight with little or no equipment. So yes. sometimes it might be a little equipment because you might have like a pull up bar or something like that. I guess some so, people yeah, might yeah. call that equipment. Yeah, but it's basically almost no equipment. Yeah. You but know? if you have a weight on your back and you're doing, and you're doing a push up, it's still calisthenics. Just, That's what I'm saying. You know? That's why it says little yeah. or no calisthenics. And then I know um, the, the dictionary, uh, Webster's Dictionary, defines it as systematic, rhythmic, bodily exercises. Because they got to be. You know, Interesting. They got to be uh, uh, all formal with yeah. it. Systematic, rhythmic, bodily exercises performed usually without apparatus. Mm, mm, they had to pr- prove that they're the dictionary. Deep. They had to prove that they're the dictionary yep. by using big vocabulary <laughs> apparatus. Exactly. But the point is, doing stuff, you don't have equipment, you don't need dumbbells, you don't need uh, machines. No gym membership. You can do it anywhere. Anytime, yeah. any place. Exactly. And th- that's the great thing about calisthenics. Yeah. Back in the days where where people were really into bodybuilding, it was mm-hmm. all about going to the gym. Yeah. Uh, pumping iron. Pumping iron <laughs> and stuff like that. But now, people are realizing, you know what? I can go to the park. I can I can stay at home. I can do workouts right right uh like you said wherever I am. Yeah. But by 2019, there was more than 14 million uh people doing calisthenics. Wow. 14 million by the year 2019. But the the interesting thing is that it's less than five percent of the of the people who are hardcore calisthenic people. Less than five percent are female. Hmm. That means the over ninety five percent, the majority, the overwhelming majority of people who do calisthenics are men. That's because women are afraid of strength training. They think they could get bulky, but that's not a that's a myth. I don't Definitely know what the reason is that that uh, that females are not that into calisthenics. Yeah, but I mean, I guess maybe they're more into cardio and stuff like that because they want to burn fat cardio, yeah. and stuff. And so I guess the idea of doing push ups and stuff like that is like, nah, nah I don't But muscle do that. burns fat. So if you want to burn fat, muscle burns fat. It's definitely a great way to burn fat. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really surprised that, that, that the statistics are so extreme mm-hmm. because it's almost unbelievable, really. With calisthenics being that you're not at the gym, you're not pumping iron, mm-hmm. you're not with cables and weights. You would think that this would be something that would be that would be geared towards uh, people that are that are females, yeah, things like that. But I guess, like you said, maybe they're afraid that if I do too many push-ups, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a big back or yeah, something yeah. like that. Uh, well, some ladies like big back, <laughs> but not that kind of <laughs> yeah, the back of your, your shoulder blades. But you know, I don't know. Uh, I think that it's a it's a it's a terrible loss. It's a is a wasted opportunity mm-hmm. there because. Uh, First of all, again, we're trying to dispel the myths of what calisthenics is. Uh, calisthenics is not it, it is something that that anybody can do, and like like we said, we can do it anywhere, anytime, with very little or no equipment. Yeah. So I mean, you got push ups. What else we got here? Oh, you got push ups. You got pull ups. You have dips. You have squats. You have lunges. 
What else is there? I mean, there's, there's, there's burpees, burpees is, is kind of like between calisthenics and 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 uh, cardio. Yeah, I, I think I want to. Th- are planks? I think planks. Too. Planks are considered yeah. Uh, calisthenics. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, there's a whole uh, lot crunches, yeah. sit ups. Those are for good for core. Yeah, uh, calisthenics. And but the interesting thing about calisthenics is that that calisthenics is not like a like a isolated uh muscle workout Mm -hmm. you know it's it's working on multiple uh muscles at the same time so for people who like split workouts this is not the the best uh kind of method Mm -hmm. this is something that's going to be more i guess uh full body type of of workout there i mean it's very similar to i would say rock climbing although rock some people consider rock climbing a calisthenic but uh it's it's a very it's even if you don't consider it calisthenic it's very similar yeah very similar because it's, again, it's your use. It's body weight exercises. Mm-hmm. While a pull up is good for like biceps, it's not only working out your biceps. Yeah, you're working out your back. Even if you're really big into bodybuilding and you want, I'm seeing you. You're wearing a shirt right now uh, for our deadlift. Yep, yep. For people who are, are listening, you don't see what he's wearing, but he he's not wearing something that has to do with calisthenics. <laughs> but even though deadlift is not a calisthenic, yeah. Uh, even if you're into weights and things like that i think it's still important to incorporate body definitely, weight exercises like yeah. calisthenics yeah when you incorporate calisthenics these are more like functional true to life things mm-hmm. you know um these are our movements you're going to be doing on everyday life yeah kind of thing yeah you, you can go to the gym and incorporate uh planks push-ups i used to do that when i was at the gym uh, myself you know i had a a uh, set, and then I did some push-ups. I did like a super set for push-ups, or a super set for a plank, or a super set for s- some calisthenics movement. I-, I think there's pros and cons with calisthenics. Mm-hmm. The pro is that that you're able to do it when you don't have access to the gym. I mean, today uh, I had an early morning meeting, yeah, and I I, I wanted to go to the gym, but I, I, there wasn't enough time, so I was like, you know what? I have a floor. And they even I have can do push-ups. A lot of apps for that too. I have a push-up actually app. It's not out anymore, but I have a push-up app where it, it pushes you. It, it has a schedule for a number of push-ups that you're trying to do. Was that the app where you had to push up and you, you your nose would touch so you, the, you, the yeah, screen? Yeah, you push your nose on the screen. Yeah, yeah. So it's a really every good time app, you know such a screen is like yeah, kind of a push-up. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, and I remember one time I was uh, away on a trip, mm-hmm. and uh, there was no gym available uh, at the trip I went to. I was in a hotel, so I just took two chairs, yeah. put my arms between the chairs, and I did dips. I put, I dipped my body uh, below the chairs, pushed up with my arms. Yeah. I wanted to do pull-ups, so I grabbed the top of uh, a chest of drawers or whatever. The drawer? And you didn't break it? I mean, it was bolted to the wall. Oh, okay. There was like something bolted to the wall, yeah. and so I, grabbed, I put my fingers there, and I was able to pull up there. Mm. Uh, I mean, yeah, you got to be careful yeah. to make sure things are <laughs> bolted. Because you want to get a good exercise, but you don't want to, you know, pay, pay that bill. <laughs> exactly. Well, the point is that if you could find something, you could go outside and you can grab a tree branch yeah. as long as it's a sturdy tree branch yeah. and you can do pull-ups. Or just a regular park. Just, you know, on the monkey bars, do pull-ups there. It, that's the, the pro of calisthenics. You could do it. You're not limited uh, to resources. Yeah, you can, you can do it anywhere. Now, the, the con is, is that there's a limit to how much weight you're pushing. Yeah, your body. Exactly. Yeah. To progress, let's say you get really good at, at push-ups, mm-hmm. there's only so many push-ups you can do. Yeah. After a while, you, if you're doing like over 100 push-ups, I think, I think at that point you've kind of mastered the yeah. push-up. Yeah. You know, that's why they have to do different techniques, like different types yeah, of push-ups. Yeah, like there's the down push-up, which is harder. Yeah. But I'm saying it, it gets a little bit more technical mm-hmm. when you get to that level. Yeah. Because sometimes I think maybe if you're like weighing 300 pounds, maybe sometimes uh, uh, body weight workouts might be tough. If you're lean, it's going to be a little bit easier. But if you're not trained, it's still going to be a little bit hard. But if you're overweight, that's a lot of muscle that you have to, I mean, a lot of, a lot of weight that you have to move. So it's going to be harder, but it's still effective. So Because I know what I was, I, I know I was listening to some people that were saying that the more they lost weight, yeah, the easier the exercise, the calisthenics got. Yeah. But then... They they had less weight to push, so therefore the benefits of it was 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 lacking. Yeah. So I mean, I think it's good to incorporate both. Yeah. Incorporate calisthenics and strength training. Yeah, with, with and, weights. And with weights yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, so yeah, I think 
in terms of how to do calisthenics, I, I think that you gotta start off with some basics. Yeah. People how... people think that calisthenics is like the crazy gymnastic things that the handstand people yeah. on one hand and stuff and, like that. And, and the wipers where you're just hanging there and people are doing wipers with their legs. I mean that's yeah. a fun workout. Yeah. But that that's some that's advanced stuff which yeah. which don't be scared of calisthenics because you can't do you can't hang with one arm mm-hmm. and lift your legs up. You yeah. know what I mean? I think it's good to do the basics, like we said, push-ups, pull-ups, squats. And if you can't do a regular push-up, it's fine. You start on your knees, you know, you can do half a push-up, and then you can progress over time. Exactly, exactly. And if you want to learn more, well, first of all, don't go to the events unless you know the, the, the basic stuff. Yeah. But once you start mastering the basics, start trying different different planks mm-hmm. uh plank positions try different push-up uh uh hand positions try different things because i thought i mastered plank but then somebody else told me about a plank where you have one arm out and the opposite leg out and oh, that, yeah. that, that pushed I, me yeah, that pushed yeah me i was uh harder. one of workout programs i was doing i was doing that that's that's yeah, tough yeah that's tough so just minor tweaks mm-hmm. to a, a simple calisthenic workout works you out in a, in a very different way definitely now uh, one of the things about calisthenics is that if you have bad form, you can it can really mess you up, though. I mean, it, it, it can definitely mess you up, but it's not as bad as if you're using actual weights. That's much worse. That's but it's, true. It's still bad, but it's not as bad as using actual weights. So you, you would think that calisthenics maybe is, is even better in terms of a beginner. Yes. For, for, for beginners, definitely use calisthenics before using strength training, using using weights for strength training. So how, how do you think uh, somebody can add calisthenics to their workout plan? Uh, you can do it even... If you're going to the gym and doing workouts with um with weights, you can do on when you're at home. Like you just do like a little five minute thing there, or something at the beginning of the day before you start the day, or not before you go to sleep though. It's not good before you go to sleep, but just randomly throughout the day. Okay, yeah, I, and I think if you don't if you don't have any workout plan, then it's easy to co- incorporate because you're starting from scratch. Yeah. If you work uh, a nine to five job, mm-hmm. you get breaks. Yeah. During that break, do some push ups. Yeah. Uh, I know when I was in a hotel once, and again, I like going to the gym, but when I go to a hotel, the gyms are not always available when I'm on these trips. And what I did is that when the commercials came on TV, I started doing bodyweight exercise. I started doing uh, Spider-Man push-ups, hmm. which was push-ups where you're kind of like crawling on the on the floor a little bit. Yeah. I started doing squats and stuff like that. So, but but I was I was still watching TV, yeah. but I was able to incorporate it into my life, so I didn't have to like you know take a whole big time out for my vacation yeah. time you know and things like that and so I, I think it's easy i think it's a very simple thing to incorporate it into our lifestyle i i think uh if you do you will see the benefits from it definitely i, I think it'd be kind of uh cool to hear from other people what other calisthenic workouts they do you mm-hmm. can hit us up on our social media accounts let us know what kind of calisthenics you guys are involved in yeah you can find all of that on adventfit.org. You can find our social media accounts there. But if you want the social media accounts of us personally, you can find mine on waynejamel.com. And you can find me at instagram.com slash Mr. Woke. That's W-H-O-K-E. And so until next time, I'm Wayne Jamel. And I'm C. Jeffrey White. And this is for Calisthenics Incorporated. And we'll see you next time, folks.